Hello, amazing friends. Let's solve this challenge together. I tell you, it's just so easy. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you. Let's do this together. So what do we do? This is what we are giving to find the value of T. You'll be like, what do I do? You observe that you have T and it's raised to the same T. So what number can you raise to itself to give you 19? Think. It's so easy, okay? But before we go through the answer, let me show you something. Let's take, for instance, that we say that T is 2. You have it that when you have 2, raise it to the same number, it is 2. And 2 to the power of 2 is 2 times 2, which will give you 4. No doubt. Now, 4 is not close to 19, so T can't be 2. Now, let's look at when T is 3. So, you're going to have 3, the same number and the same power. So, we have 3 to the power of 3, which will give us 3 multiplied 3 times to give us 27. 27 is far away from 19. So, it means that T can still be 3. So what it means is that if you observe carefully, you see that the value of t is within 2 and 3. is in between 2 and 3. That is where you can find the value of t. So we can say that the value of t is, is found here. But we cannot give this as our answer. So we want to find the actual value of t. So to find this actual value of t, what do you do? Just remember your Lambert W function. Don't forget that this is your transcendental equation. It's not solved using the usual algebraic method, no. So let me teach you how to use the Lambert W function. Now, what does that function say? We begin with solution. It says that each time you have x and it's multiplied by e to the power of x, this can be functions, okay? Now, when you have it this way, provided that the power of this e is the same with the coefficient of this e. Remember, this is the coefficient, okay? Now, when you have it this way, and this one is the power. So, when the power and the coefficient are the same, what do you do? Just quickly introduce your Lambert W function. And when you do this, it is going to give you what? X. I hope that is clear. So how do we apply this lambda W function in solving this? Now, let me teach you what to do. So what you do first is we are going to take the ln of both sides. Okay, remember your ln is just your natural logarithm. So we're going to have ln of t to the power of t, okay, is equal to ln of 19. We are taking the ln of both sides. But you have to recall that for each time you have ln of a to the power of a, remember your rule of logarithm. This power of a multiplies the log and it gives you a ln of a. So this is also another guide. Now, applying it here, this power is going to multiply. So we're going to have t, we'll be multiplying ln of t, okay? And that is equal to ln of 19. So what do we do next? Our target is to find t. So what we need to do is, we need to recall that for each time we have, let's take it to this part. For each time you have e to the power of ln of a, and when it's raised to this, it returns you to this a. So if this is true, we can do something to this t. Yes, it's just to help us apply this rule. So what do you do to it? You are going to have it that this t is the same as e to the power of ln of t. You have not changed anything for this t. You just did this, okay, to be in this form. Remember that when you do it this way, it is the same thing as t. So for this, we have transformed it to be in this form. Then multiply it by ln of t. And that will be equal to ln of 19. Interesting. Now, you observe that you can switch this. So you can rearrange them to give you this we confess. So we have ln of t is multiplying e to the power of ln of t is equal to ln of 19. Interesting. Don't forget to give this a like. 
let us know how helpful it is to you in the comments and subscribe for more tips let's do this together thank you so what do we do you observe that this is of this form just watch carefully the power and the coefficient are the same and that is what we have explained for us to make use of our lambert w function so if this is true we can apply it so in that case applying the lambert w function okay so we have it apply lambert w function so if we do that what do we have we are going to have lambert w of ln of t okay multiplied by e to the power of ln of t is equal to the lambert w of ln of 19 interesting so what do we do again this is now of this form and this is equal to x you observe that this x is the power which is the same as the coefficient so here this and this are the same so we're going to have ln of t and that will be equal to w lambda w of ln of 19 interesting so what do we do again our target is to find t but we have to recall this statement we made here so in that case you are going to take the e base of both sides just for us to find this t so if you do that you are going to have so we have take e base of both sides so when you do that you are going to now have so this gives us e to the power of ln of t okay is equal to e to the power of lambda w of ln of 19 interesting so what do we do let's take it to this part to now have remember that obeying this this is going to give us t so we have t is equal to e to the power of lambda w of ln of 19 interesting at this point you are free to leave your answer in this form okay you can also leave it in a numerical form so if you do that you are going to have t is equal to 2.83 and you observe carefully that this is within this range you see what you have from the earlier stated is from 2 to 3 so you can find this number in this now this gives us the value of t now we're going to also do a little check put this value of t in here and let's see if it gives us 19. so to check we are going to have this t is giving us this. so we're having 2.83 raise it to the same power to the same number so when you do this quickly with your calculator you have so this gives us 18.99 okay and you can easily approximate this to give us a 19 to the nearest whole number which is what we have at the right side of the equation so you see that this is the easiest way to solve such question when you see it and i hope you really learned something don't forget to tell us how much in the comments like this video share for more people to learn with you Subscribe for more tips and for click for more updates. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.